You're gonna go up two floors. Okay. Okay. I think he wants us to stop right here. He wants to stop one. He said go up two floors, so I think he wants us to stop right here. Well, there's a door right here, so this might be it. And let me step up here, so. Light. Taking pictures, huh? Yeah. <laughs> there's just a lot of You're going to keep going up. Okay. Keep going up. Okay. This is cool. Y'all, some light down there. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> wow. It's like, like a Ooh. Halloween coffin there. Oh, that's cool. I just kept the weight right there. Let me squeeze through a bit. Oh my gosh, it's creepy. I'll man. be right back. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great. He's gonna put on a costume and come on. <laughs> 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 Oh, wow. Wow. Surprise! Nice. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> wow, this is creepy. Hey, right, you're going to walk through that archway. All right. And stand in the big room. <laughs> wow, there's like... <laughs> All right, I need to steal the flashlight All right. from you. All right, first off, I want to welcome you to the, the haunted hotel that we do every October. You get to see the behind the scenes. We had to take some stuff down for safety. Uh, like the stairway to nowhere, it actually goes where you guys are standing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, it. it, it you can see it's, I won't blind you guys with light, but oh. you can see it goes to nowhere. It's crazy. It's, it's more of a joke, the door opens. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this is where the laundry room was, <laughs> slash where the poor people would sleep. Um, in case you're wondering, this was the elevator cart track that they would put the laundry cart on, roll it into the elevator shaft, bring it up and down the hand cranked elevator. Obviously, it was easier to take one cart up and down a bunch of times a day instead of four or five carts like we do today. However, if you notice, it's not exactly renovated. <laughs> this is, I don't want to stay in here. <laughs> There's a reason for it. In 1909, just 17 years after the hotel opened, they suffered a fire. It's called the 1909 Windsor Fire. Easy enough. <laughs> this floor suffered major fire damage. That is authentic damage from 102 years ago. Wow. So firefighters call that a deep char. But this entire floor is structurally sound. There's a reason. All of the wood in the hotel is called three to four century pine. It is the strongest and most durable pine there is ever. Wow. It literally is 300 to 400 years old. Ow. <laughs> 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 now. The great thing about this wood is it's so dense, that deep char only weakened it by about 5%. Wow. And it can still support thousands of pounds across that beam. Mm. This right here is an original cable holder. That's the only scientific name I know for it. <laughs> this would hold the electric cables that would run electricity to the building. It was a lot easier to put stuff on the outside of the walls instead of on the inside. Speaking of electricity, we did open in 1892 with no electricity. However, in 1899, 10 years before the fire, coincidence, <laughs> we were the first hotel in the state of Georgia to install electricity in our hotel. We, we've been trying to find the history on how many houses had electricity before us, and the records right now are saying not very many. Wow. So we were one of the, the leaders in electricity in Georgia. So that's really cool. 
I'm going to walk right over here for a second so you can see the line here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's creepy. All right. The laundry area is covered by a bunch of junk, but this is where all the laundry for the hotel used to be done. The floor below that, the reason that we put a bunch of junk on that is so people won't walk on it. Uh, it's all been carefully put on there. The floor below that is actually crumbling. So we've carefully structured the joke so it doesn't touch the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about mechanical advantage. Now, directly behind me, oh, sorry, we left somebody up here on the last I'm not sure this. Anybody got a Snickers? <laughs> Anyways, that's the one little bit of comedy. It was really funny. We actually used to have it like standing like this. And I would stand in front of it and I'd walk away and people would actually get afraid that there was somebody there. And now they just look at Maybe they are, I don't know. Anyway, so this right here is the original electric generator to the hotel. This is where all the, ca all the cable would run. You can see it follows these tracks that would run and provide electricity. Remember the 1909 fire damage that I was showing you guys? If you look up, you can see an even better version of how charred our hotel actually is. Oh, wow. wow. Oh my gosh. That's all fire, not smoke damage. Wow. What if it just collapsed? That's the glory of three to four century pines. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually had uh, structural engineers come in and inspect our roof, and they said it's stronger than most houses today are, even with the fire damage. So. Wow. Yay. <laughs> all right, there's nothing left up here. So we're going to head to the next part of the tour. Awesome. Sweet. You got scared yet? <clears throat> no. You don't have to go down the stairs. Right. You actually have to stop. Scary part. You have to jump through that door. Shut up. All right, remember the floor is uneven, so please watch your step. Woo! We're taking a different route. We're not going the way we came. You guys are going to head towards the red light district. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. So you see? Seriously? No. Oh. They hide in the walls. Uh, wow. But when cool. we make enough noise up here in October, you can hear them screaming. Can I have everybody a pile on the other end? I was going to take pictures of the hats. That'd be cool. Okay. <laughs> Better gets prone to falling. Yeah. We're going to scare from that jump. <laughs> <laughs> right? This was the one, the only, Miss Mary Faye Adams and her young daughter Abigail. You guys will step out of the elevator. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> how are we getting out? I'm trying to close my door and it's open. It scares me. It was really great. One time we were giving a tour, and there was about 15 of us, and they all wanted to go at one time. So we all had to cram in like sardines, and we were right at the weight limit of the elevator. We hit the button to go down, and it literally dropped about a foot and a half. Wow. Oh it was great. <laughs> I've never heard so many people scream in my life. <laughs> All right. Including you. No, <laughs> actually, I started laughing. I felt bad. <laughs> this elevator shaft originally. Sometimes after you sing it, you can hear a little girl laughing behind you. Now, I promise you, there's no little girls on this hall. There is a little girl in the hotel, but she's on the other side of the hotel, and you hear her laughing. You hear her laughing. I heard her earlier. She's very, very loud. So. But the little, this little girl. Oh, 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 okay. I thought you were like, oh, you heard her today. The live okay. little girl. The live little girl. She's a her. I'm like, what? The live little girl. I have heard her once when I was working up here by myself. Okay. Let's see. Oh. 
doing a cool thing. This floor, if you look right down this wall, it does get smaller. That's not that is you know perception laws, but it is actual truth. It does get smaller down there. So when we renovated in May of last year, we were, we installed brand new carpet in the entire hotel. Well, most carpeteers they do one thing when they have a nice straight hallway. So they think they put the big roll in the middle of the hallway and they kick it and it rolls down the hallway. It got about right there and stopped cold. And they walked up to it and went to kick it again and it didn't move at all. Then they realized something. The hall's not built to code. It was built in 1892 before codes were established for building. So they had to hand cut our carpet. And it was evident when you get about halfway down about right there where the shadow is, the carpet actually starts to wave a little bit because they just started cramming it underneath the door games. <laughs> so, needless to say, we did not have this But it is a little interesting fact to know that everything's different in our hotel. So, we have two options. We can take the long way or we can take the short way. It's up to you guys. What's the long way? Lit up. No, no, we're going to turn off the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Which other way? It's just going to get powered off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't matter to me? If you go the long way. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> way, what? The long way will take you by a couple of our suite rooms, and the short way takes us back out to the lobby. And the uh, floor to floor is where we were. Yes. This. Yes. So we can take you by a couple of our rooms, or we can go to the lobby. You guys want to $12, right? <laughs> <laughs> You guys are right here, one floor down. So wow, to give nice. you a perspective of where you guys are at. Nice. And then another three nights we're in three twenty. Yeah. Which is right yeah. yeah. Good thing that door's open. <laughs> Wham. For for perspective's sake, this door, one floor down, is where we just came from. Wow. This is where you guys are. Yeah, that's where we were at for three So you can see it's it's not it's not yeah. fixed to it. Yeah, we were wondering too why. Yeah. We're gonna stop right. Yeah. All right. Like I said, if you get to come this way, you get to see a couple of our special things about this hotel. These two names are. Hmm. 
He was no longer able to stand after his first year of presidency. Yes. Wow. When he was the governor of New York. He was petitioning to become the Democratic national candidate. He gave a speech to the city, to the county of Sumter, right off of this balcony in between these two flagpoles. And there's a very famous picture somewhere in the hotel. I don't remember where it is. I know there's one of Eleanor giving a speech right by there. Now, this balcony is called the Lucky Balcony, and we're about to go to the Lucky Room. The reason that they're called Lucky is for two reasons. Every person who's came and given a political speech off of this balcony has won. Wow. Uh, Jimmy came up here and gave a speech for his candidacy and as well as president, and he won both of those, obviously. Roosevelt came up here when he was governor of New York for his Democratic national candidacy. He won that. We also had, believe it or not, Roosevelt's running mate, our uh, rival, the Republican side. I don't remember his name because he didn't win. <laughs> Nobody remembers the losers. He gave a speech on this document. His Republican candidacy the lost the election. That's the only loss on this floor. Oh, little Obama come up here and talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you where my family is from. <laughs> Let's just say it's, it's the other color. <laughs> I come from a Democrat state. <laughs> Although I will agree, Obama not a good choice. <laughs> but, so that's this. There's the history. Now we're going to go to the lucky room, okay. which right. is happily named Roosevelt Burger. Really? Because that's the name of the Thank you, sir.
city streets down into the basement of a, of a building to be able to use the heat and cool the room. Now we're going to go up there, watch your head. I'm not exactly the tallest person in the world and I get hit about here if I don't watch it. <laughs> wow. So as you can see, we've sealed it up over time. We have no use for coal sheets anymore. So. Oh. oh, wow. Oh my god. Wow. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're fine. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta get that up here. So, have you guys ever seen underneath an elevator shaft? Uh-huh. Alright. She's done taking the pictures, I'll show you. Oh boy. Now you guys can't go in here because it is a working elevator. Is this the same champ? No, this is the, <laughs> one, this is the, the tourist elevator. Well, you can't really see anything spectacular in there right now. However, it is a working elevator shaft. And it's really creepy when it's down on the first floor because you can actually see the bottom of the elevator and hear people talking. Wow. So in one time we were actually given a tour. I came back upstairs and people saw, thought they heard talking in the elevator. And it, in reality, it was me down here giving a tour. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. You can't go in there. I'm not going in there. <laughs> this is my camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. What you got? Okay. Let me have a go. Oh, sure, sure. There you go. You want to? Cool. Sneak back a little. Could be a shadow. Hopefully you got it because it no, had it turn it. halfway in between. No. We'll look at them later. Take one in there. If you guys were ever wondering what 100 plus telephone connections look like, oh, there you wow. go. This is also our, this is all of our telecommunications and uh, 
technology. This is our internet, our telephone, our telephone, our uh, part of our cable lines that run from here and they run over there to that box and then go out to the rooms. And it also pulls our fire suppression information that's all over there. So it's really kind of very fat to see all this wiring. And you can imagine Whoa. a bigger corporation has walls of these. Jeez. One last step, and that'll be the end. All right. This is too cool. I'll mention this in passing, but I'm going to grab it and catch it up. As we pass the room O white boxes, this is all of the Windsor's history from 1992 to today. We've lost all records from before the hotel closed down in the 70s. Wow. The only records we have are what you see in the plaques upstairs. So. That's cool. It says authentic haunted hotel. We're not like most hotels. We do something very different than other hotels. We do use spa quality, uh, shampoo, conditioner, bath soap, body lotion. You guys have used it, right? Yes. You love it, right? Oh, yeah. That's why my <laughs> hair looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, most hotels use those little cheap 25 cent a bottle. Ours cost about $2 a bottle. Wow. So mm -hmm. we spare no expense. But we get a great deal on bolts of like 200 of them. It, what brand are you It using? is called. <laughs> It'd hurt if you fall off that bed. <laughs> so, 
Oh, a one story drop. <laughs> oh, the shower. Yeah, yeah just like a shower. I'm you want to take a picture of the shower? Yeah, I'll take a picture. It's just a little bit. It's actually the curtain. It's actually my name. Uh, oh, okay. Gosh, that's pretty cool. Perfect though. for two. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we had a, a group come down and say it's big enough for three and it kind of looks funny. Wow. Wow. And then we realized that there was a little girl. Oh. 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 But it made for a very funny story. <laughs> yeah. So, Well, we're seeing the presidential suite. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, then, and then you can go see. You can get a ball. Yeah, Charles could get a ball. What's her name again? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Francine, right? Yeah, that was it. What's that? <gasps> What's in there? The rollaway beds. Take a picture there. <laughs> yes, that is uh, from left to right. Sherrod, our owner, his wife, Hila, Rosalind, and Benjamin. What did he do for a half a day? Um, it was when we, re we, we had a grand reopening. He actually got ready up here. He took a shower, got dressed, okay. and the Secret Service was right outside the door. He sat right here. Did he? Oh, wow. Yes, he did. Uh, 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 Pretend you're Jimmy Carter. <laughs> it's a desk when that picture was Yeah, right that's this. cool. With also to be president of the United States. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't say it. Take it forever. Uh, we actually do it now. So we're friends with Austin. Say was it successful? They're both Democrats. Well, they're famous. The bathroom has a bathtub. I, I guess yeah. I know. That's, that's the just, difference. I love the way they did that. Oh. This is a lot bigger. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's weird. Oh, right. Wow. Little plant yeah. right there on a pedestal. Yeah. <laughs> I need to tell him something for the president. Yeah. <laughs> a corner. Yes, yeah, a weird corner. <laughs> a weird corner. <laughs> Don't feel like oh, so here. Jimmy Carter sat on that toilet. Oh, wow. I got to take a picture. <laughs> 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 the toilet? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not the toilet that Jimmy sat on. Oh, <laughs> what a rip off. <laughs> we replaced the toilets last year. Aww. It's we now in a museum somewhere. Toilet. <laughs> we went from more eco friendly toilets. <laughs> okay, we're in room 225 at the Windsor Hotel. This is apparently a room with the most paranormal activity. So there's actually a microphone. If there's anybody else in here besides us, there's a little microphone right on this camera. So if you wish to talk, please speak into that microphone. So is there anybody else besides me and Daisha in this room? Have you been in this room a long time? I don't know if you're male or female, if there's more than one of you, but uh, if you'd like to talk into that microphone, we'd love to know what gender you are. 
And if you're an adult or a child, do you like staying at the Windsor Hotel? Are you happy being here? I don't know the circumstances in which you're actually here, but uh, we hope it wasn't too bad. You wish you could leave the hotel. Have you been here since the 1800s? Or have you just been here in the 1900s? As Dace is taking photos, don't be afraid. Uh, you know, we'd love to have a photo of you or any of your friends that are here, so she's gonna just take some, so don't pay attention. And uh, hopefully, we'll get a wonderful photo of you that we can take home and frame and remember you by. And uh, if you look at it, every day and think of the wonderful time that we're getting to spend with you right now and the conversation that we're having. You know, we're glad that we got to meet you. You have a very beautiful place here. And I know you're probably proud of it. By chance you're Floyd, we heard you were a really good employee, and I know that you're proud that you put in so many years of good work. You know, we had a couple drinks at the bar that uh, was named after you, it was really nice, so it's really cool that they did that. We'd love to hear your story. I know that right now we can't hear you, but if you'd like to talk into that microphone, maybe it'll pick you up and we can listen to it later. And if you'd like, we'd love to come back and visit you again sometime. So we'll turn the camera off unless there's anything else you want to say. Just want to tell you thank you for listening to us and uh, hopefully you shared a few words with us that we can listen to a little later. And, uh, we're pretty tired so we're going to go to sleep and uh, if you could just let us rest peacefully, then uh, we promise we'll leave you alone and we'll be out of here in the morning. And, uh, if there's anything we can do to help you, or any of your friends that might be in this hotel, you know, we'd love to help. And, uh, if you'd like, we can say a prayer for you tonight before we go to sleep. Well, thank you for your time. Thanks for letting Daisha snap some photos of you. And uh, we'll definitely be back. 
It's a wonderful place. So if there's anything else you want to say, I'll just uh, give you a few seconds and I'll turn the camera off and we'll leave you alone for this evening. <laughs>